So you're trying to practice guitar or any other skill, but when that time of the day comes, you feel a big resistance and you just end up not doing it. Or maybe you look at other people and you just can't figure out how they keep improving and you just can't get that far. Well, stay tuned because I can help you. Hey guys, my name is Paolo and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button right now and let's move on. So in the past 10 years as a guitar student and then as a teacher, I observed myself and others a lot. I observed masters, but I also observed people that literally can't play a chord and trying to ask myself why, what is the difference between those two kind of people. I also taught guitar privately and in a few different schools to people of literally all different ages and I really observed that behaviour. And what I noticed doesn't just apply to guitar players, it applies to anyone trying to learn a new skill, whether you want to do it as a hobby or become a professional. A few months ago I was reading a book and there was a quote that really got to me. It was something along the lines of, our ability to succeed at something is directly related to our ability to enjoy the struggle involved in it. Boom, I was mind blown. As soon as I heard that, something clicked. I was like, of course I've been able to play guitar and become successful at it, because I enjoyed almost every minute of the struggle involved of the practice. That is the secret, and let me show you why. You might be thinking, wait, I don't enjoy practicing guitar. Does that mean I'll never be a good guitar player or learn any other skill? It doesn't mean that. Keep listening, because I've got a solution for that too. Now, I'm not a guru, but I've learned guitar enough to be able to make it my profession. And this is what I've learned in the process. The secret to succeed at any skill is to find a way to enjoy the struggle involved in it. Notice that I said find a way, because even if you haven't found a way yet, you can make it. When people come to me for lessons, I've learned that the most valuable thing I can teach them is not chords, is not scales or anything like that. It's the mindset at the core of everything. The most valuable thing I can teach them is that to get wherever they want to get, they need practice. And to develop a long lasting practice routine, you need to enjoy it, at least the vast majority of it. And for me, that's the most difficult thing to teach. Some people come for lessons already with that mindset. But in my experience, that's literally one in 10 or even less. And this is exactly the same mindset I used to learn English. I moved to the UK when I was almost 21, which is quite late to start working on your language skills properly. And everyone around me was telling me it was too late, that I would have never got to a good level and all of that but I just ignore that and practice regularly every single day and I remember telling one of my teachers one day that as much as I wanted to get to the end goal it's like I didn't want to get there because I was enjoying the practice so much I told her if I got there today I would kind of be disappointed because all of this would be finished that's how much you gotta enjoy the practice most people come to me for lessons and from day one they ask come on how long till I become good or well, I can play that song or that solo come on tell me the secret tell me the shortcut. And I understand that completely because when I was studying singing, I was exactly the same. I must have asked my singing teacher a million times, hey, how long till I become good uh, until I learn to sing this song or that song or whatever. But that's not the right mindset to have if you really want to become good at something. When I started playing guitar, it didn't feel like practice. It felt like fun. I would literally practice 10 hours a day every single day because I enjoyed it, which is crazy. But then many moments came where I was forced to practice things that I really hated and didn't want to practice. And this is where I show you how to change the motivation behind your practice to make it more enjoyable. Let's go back a few years. I was 18 or 19 years old, getting ready for my admission test to uni. I knew part of that test was going to be sight reading and ear training. So obviously what did I do? I practiced both. But I hated it. And guess what happened as soon as I passed the test? I stopped practicing altogether. I wasn't internally motivated, I was externally motivated, that's the problem. I was working towards an end goal rather than practicing for the sake of enjoying the practice. It's a bit like when a mother tells a child, come on, eat your veggies and then you can have ice cream. The child is internally motivated to eat ice cream, but externally motivated to eat vegetables. So he's just gonna eat the vegetables to get the ice cream. But what happens once the child grows up and moves out of his parents' house? He's only going to buy ice cream, right? Only once he really realises he needs veggies to be healthy, then he's going to start eating them again. But recently something weird happened. I started practising sight reading and ear training almost every day. Why? Like how? What changed? Why do I do these things if I used to hate them just a few years ago? The skill hasn't changed. What changes my way of seeing these things? The way I approach the practice, the reason, the motivation behind the practice. I told myself, being able to look at a music sheet and play straight away is a skill that's so cool to have that I just want it. Doesn't matter what it takes, I want it. Same with ear training. I told myself, being able to hear a song and play straight away is such a cool skill to have 
that I want it. Doesn't matter how long it takes to acquire it, I just want it. You see, I changed the perspective. I see these things from different eyes now. All of a sudden, I'm not doing them because someone is asking me to do them, but because I can see the value in them and I genuinely want to do them. Therefore, I enjoy the process. Now it feels like ice cream rather than veggies. If you find yourself having a hard time trying to sit down and do the practice, you need to find a way to make it more fun for you by changing the way you look at it. Without knowing you personally, I can't tell you exactly how to do that because it's personal, it's unique from person to person. But you can figure it out yourself. Just experiment. For example, when I started taking lessons, it all felt like fun. I loved learning the scales and the chords. Why? Because I could see that that was exactly what I needed in order to be able to learn all the solos and the songs that I wanted to play which at the time was just basically Guns N' Roses and Metallica. So to answer clearly to the title of the video, the way you succeed at learning guitar or any other skill is by developing a practice routine that you enjoy. Sometimes you'll still feel like homework, but for the vast majority of it, you'll enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, you'll quit. Don't do that, don't quit. Before you quit, try and find a way to make it more fun for you and see it from a different perspective. Because once you do that, you'll enjoy it and you won't quit. Trust me, it works. It worked on me and many other people they observed. Overall, I enjoyed my process of learning guitar and I'm still enjoying it. But there were times where it was really hard and I had to shift my perspective. Oh, and you know when you ask people how they learn something and they act all cool, saying that that thing they didn't have to practice and work for it, it just came to them? Don't believe the hype, that's not true. They did practice. The only difference is they've been extremely good at making it fun for themselves. Therefore, it didn't feel like practice. Nevertheless, they practiced. Everyone had to practice. Ed Sheeran practiced, Michael Jackson practiced, Jimi Hendrix practiced. It's the only way to become good at something. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it till the end, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe right now. That really helps. Come say hi on Instagram and I'll see you soon.